First Corinthians 10, and what is 31? First Corinthians 10, 31. Praying according to God's will. Now, now, uh, prayer, prayer is supposed to be based on God's will. You know, so when we when we when we pray, we must pray according to God, according to God, according to the purpose, according to the promise, and according to the prophecy. So you have purpose, promise, prophecy. So our prayer must be in a line with God's purpose for our life. So that's why anytime we come before the Lord in prayer, we gotta we have to know something about what God what God has promised us. What God has promised us. Because his promise, the Bible says that he that promised is faithful to perform it. So when God promised, God is faithful to perform it. But the Bible says that you shall have whatever you say. So that's why we gotta say what God said. So we can get those promises that God has promised us. Because if we don't pray God's will. We don't pray God's will, amen. Then uh, a lot of times we can pray and miss praying outside of God's will. But yes, you know, but we wanna we wanna learn to pray according to God's will, according to God's will. So go ahead, read it, Mike. Number thirty-two. That's thirty-one. We just gonna read thirty-one. Amen. Uh, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do. Do all to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. So, so, Paul, Amen. So, what, Paul, so, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it all. Amen. To the glory of God. Do Amen. it all to the glory of God. You see, that's how God is. Get, this is how God get the glory. It's when we do everything according to what He's what His Word says. Amen. Whether we eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. Amen. Let's go to uh, Mark eleven twenty four. Mark eleven twenty four. Mark eleven and verse twenty four. Mark eleven twenty four. Mark eleven twenty four, you have it? Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. You see it again. Amen. See, this is it. He says, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. So automatically, it, 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 this is a finished product. He says that when we pray, when we pray, our, the key is believing. Now, let's just deal with the believing, what it means to believe. Because let's remember Believing have nothing to do with your feelings. Believing have nothing to do with your seeing. You know? So what it means to believe. Because a lot of times we think we believe in what we don't believe. Amen. Because we really don't know what it's believing is. Amen. Believing is not you feeling a strong feelings and say, oh, I just feel no. No. Amen. The, according to the scripture, believing is, the Bible says that in Romans 10 and verse 10, the Bible says, with the heart man believe unto righteousness. Would the hard man believe? So would the hard man believe? Now, the hard that he is referring to is the spirit. With the spirit of man, man believe. With the hard, man believe unto righteousness. So what believing does? It brings where? It brings you into what? Righteousness. righteousness. And what is righteousness? And what is righteousness? Right standing with God. Right standing with, with, with God. God. Or also in agreement with, with, with God. God. Yeah. So now, to believe, you means you gotta be in right standing with God in agreement with God's word. Amen. If you can believe, this is what it means to believe, is to be right standing with God in an agreement with God's word. Amen. So now you're in alignment with what the word of God says. You're in an alignment with the word of God says. See, you ain't feeling nothing, but you literally believe it. And now, because you, amen, you are amen. literally in agreement and a right standing with God. You believe it, he says that, that when you believe them things, then you receive it. Do you know he didn't say see it? No. Because seeing it is the function of us, uh, is function of one of the senses. Amen. Amen. So the, the, that what the Bible says that that we walk by faith and not by sight, because to walk by faith means to walk by the word. It means to live our life according to what the word of God says. 
Because that's what it means to walk by faith. It's literally living our life according to what the Word of God says. If the Word of God says this, we, we step out on that. Whatever the Word says, we step out. You, you see what I'm saying? So, so, so believing is literally, is, it means to be right standing with God and agreement with what the Word of God says. Now, in this case, he says, what's everything you desire? What's everything you desire when you pray? So now, we find out that we, need a, we, we must have a desire in prayer. What's ever things we desire when we pray? Now, just remember, just remember, it don't mean that I must go before God and pray for everything that is in my heart. No, keep in mind that whatever you desire must be according to God's will. Amen. Whatever you desire must be according to the will of God. Amen. Amen. Must be according to God's will. So it must be according to the Bible. So when you desire things, Amen. You should be able to find the scripture, maybe two or three scriptures that you can stand on in the Bible. I say, it's be, it, amen, because it, it is written. And because whatever is written, whatever is written, the Bible says that in, in Job, I mean, in Jeremiah 1, 12, he says, he will hasten to his word to perform it. So whatever God, whatever is written, God will back it up. God will perform it. God will bring it to pass. Because why? It is written. It is written. Amen. So it's in the Bible. So when it's in the Bible, amen, God will, he will bring it to pass. But you have to, you have to continue believing. Amen. You, you must continue to believe. Amen. Just go to uh, James, go to James 1, verse 5. James 1, 5. James chapter 1, verse 5. That's where James is after the book of Hebrew. Amen. Amen, everybody got it? Yeah. James 1, verse 5, go ahead. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask from God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraid not, and it should be given him. Amen. So again, you, you see, it says that if any one of us ask wisdom, the Bible says that we can ask. So Amen. press, literally ask him for wisdom. Amen. Amen. That give it to every man what? Amen. Give it to every man what? Believe. Believe. Amen. Amen. So, so when you when you believe, yeah. when you believe, you ask for wisdom. You believe God will give you wisdom. God will give you wisdom. Amen. Now, uh, again, you remember what we say? Wisdom, wisdom is. Remember Sunday we say, wisdom is the is the application. Wisdom is the application of which knowledge. And understanding applied. must be applied. So wisdom is the what? Application of which knowledge it. and understanding must be applied. So when I pray for God, I ask God for wisdom. Amen. Wisdom is doing the right decision, making the right decision in the wrong environment. So you can be in the wrong and negative environment, but still make the right decision. Amen. Amen. You apply wisdom. You apply wisdom. So this is the wisdom that comes from above. Amen. This is not man wisdom. This is God wisdom. And it's the difference between man wisdom and God wisdom. Man wisdom have limitation. God wisdom don't have limitation. God wisdom is perfect. Man wisdom is corrupt. And it's not perfect. Amen? Amen. Amen. So this is this is dealing with God wisdom. That's why he said, if any man need, if any man need wisdom, let him ask of him. Amen. If we need it. We gotta we, we gotta ask it. And how we ask? In prayer. How, how do we ask? In prayer. In prayer. So that means we gotta pray. That's the only way we could be we could ask this in prayer. Now let's go to Matthew 5, 44. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Matthew 5, 44. Go ahead. But I say unto you, 
Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which disrespectfully use you. Amen. And persecute you. Amen. Now you see the difference now. He says that. He says that. That love them. That means literally. Literally. You know, as a believer, we can't hate no one. Amen. This is why a lot of times our prayer is not getting, it's not answered because you 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 could have hate in your heart. You gotta love them, even the enemies. You gotta love them, and you gotta pray for them. That's a, the spies who use you. You gotta pray for them, not really talk about them. You gotta pray for them. Amen. So this is the Christian life, and this is the word. Amen. That we got to pray for them. Amen. Not to talk about them. We our job are to pray for them. Amen. And you know you need you need you need God grace to really do that. You truly need God grace and God love to do that because it, you know because to even to forgive your enemy or to forgive somebody that did you wrong, you gonna have to have that level of love to overlook what they did because now that's the same love with Christ. Amen. Had for us. Amen. Amen. When we was all dead in sin, the Bible says Christ died. Amen. He died for he can reconcile us by his blood back to him. 